Hello friends, today we are going to talk about a topic which was raised by a business partner of mine. He is working on a small system which I am the head designer and he asked me whether I would be willing to use white and blue LEDs in the system in order to improve color correlation for the maintenance team. And I told him that this is a very bad idea. And here is why. When you are working on a commercial project, saving money is really, really important. And one nice way to save cash involves directly driving the LED from the GPIO pin of your microcontroller, such as in this example for a red LED being driven from a 3.3 volt GPIO port. Here, the current which flows is not too high but the LED is bright enough for use. Now the question is, what happens if we swap this LED out for a white or a... Let us start out by setting the current of the HP to 0 0.5 milliamps. And now we've got a voltage of 1.7 volts and we see that the red LED is lighting up. Let's try what happens if we connect the yellow LED next. We see at yellow nothing happens and at green nothing happens either. So let's now try to coax the yellow LED to life. We see here I have to hit VSET and I'm giving 1.8 volts. And we see a very slight glimmer. Let's move on to the green LED. We see a very, very slight, barely visible light emission. And if we increase the voltage, to 1.9 volts, we see that the LED starts to light up. So, so far so good. Now let's try what happens with the blue and with the white LED. We see that the blue LED, when connected, does exactly nothing. So let's now try to give the blue LED 2.0 volts. And we see still nothing happens. Now let's go to 2.5. And we start to see a very dim bit of light. And if we move on to the white LED, we see something similar. So we see at 2.5 volts, we don't get particularly much light for comparison. Because my HP has an overcurrent protection, let's now try the red one. And we see that it's so painfully bright that the camera oversaturates. So, to cut a long story short, let's try what happens if we go to the maximum realistic output voltage of an MCU like an ARM processor. They normally work at 3.3 volts, so we can realistically expect them to give us 3 volts of output voltage. And you see here, at 3 volts, we do get ample light output, but this means that the margin for a resistor is very small, which causes problems should we ever find ourselves in the situation where we need to be sure that the system still works even if the LED is shorted out. One important aspect you need to keep in mind is that LEDs can fail in two ways. They can either become open or they can become a dead short. And if they become a dead short, the situation is really critical because in that case the GPIO essentially is connected to ground only via this protection resistor. And, of course, 
switching is not free. As you see here, the high level output voltage at minimum is VCC IO minus 0.2 volts. So if we have a VCC IO of about 3.3 volts, if we give and take a little bit for random acts of bad fate, it leaves us with approximately 3 volts, which has to satisfy both the resistor and the LED. Microcontrollers, especially very advanced ones such as the ones from Alvina, are quite whiny about the power situation. You see here the input and output current for the ports all in all is specified at a maximum of 40 milliamps. With that, I hope that you've enjoyed this short video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and let me know that my efforts aren't going to waste. Thank you.